click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the structure of proteins that is primary as well as secondary structure of protein and now in this topic I'm going to talk about the denaturation of protein. So what is this? Let me talk about that in this topic. <music> So friends, now here we are going to talk about the denaturation of protein. So for that, let us understand the definition. That is, the process that changes the physical and the biological properties of the protein without affecting the chemical composition of a protein is called as denaturation of protein. So for example, suppose if we talk about a particular protein or suppose if we are talking about a native protein. So this native protein can be easily affected by the change in pH, it can be easily affected by the heat. So this kind of change of a particular protein because of the change of the enzymes that are being present because of the change of the pH or because of the change of the temperature, this can cause the denaturation for the protein. So what happens in denaturation? So in denaturation of protein, there is only change in the physical property, but the chemical property, it will be remaining the same. For example, suppose if we talk about the egg white and suppose if we are boiling the, a particular egg. So usually when we break in egg, we can find that is a yolk and the egg white but once we boil that particular egg we can find that is a white portion is been generated and this white portion is nothing but it is the precipitate so how does it occurs it occurs because there is a change in the temperature and that's the reason that is the molecules they get uncoiled and that is how basically they can change the physical property and but okay about the chemical property the chemical property will be remaining the same but this kind of change in the physical property is basically known as denaturation so not only the denaturation occurs while boiling a particular egg but it can also occur in the formation of the curdling of milk so in that case what happens is we understand that is the milk consists of bacteria and because of that fermentation will occur and that is how basically there is also a change in the physical property of the milk or the other proteins that are being present in the milk so this kind of the change of the physical property is basically known as denaturation of proteins that occurs because of the change in pH because of the heat and there are various other sources from which we can find that is there is a denaturation of the protein so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much